Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let's cut to the chase. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, or as some might call them, the dynamic duo of drama, have once again found themselves in hot water. Their latest escapade, launching a new website under the guise of their Sussex title. But here's the kicker. It's not just any website. It's Sussex.com, a platform that seems to be serving as a stage for their grand re-entry into the media circus. But hold your horses, folks, because it doesn't stop there. Oh no, far from it. This website, complete with their royal crest plastered all over it, has raised more than a few eyebrows. And for good reason. You see, when you're using your royal titles and symbols for what appears to be commercial gain, you're treading on some very thin ice. Now, some might argue, but they're the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It's their surname, their family name. Well, here's the thing. With great titles come great responsibilities. And one of those responsibilities is not exploiting said titles for personal gain. It's just plain gosh, if you ask me. But wait, there's more. Not content with just launching a new website, there's speculation abound that Harry and Meghan are eyeing a return to the limelight, seeking out new production companies to work with. With their Spotify deal drying up and rumors swirling about the fate of their Netflix contract, it seems like they're scrambling to find their next big gig. But here's what really gets my goat. While Harry's off gallivanting to London for a chat with dear old dad, Meghan's busy playing savior, cooking up a storm with Afghan refugees in the US. Now, don't get me wrong, charity work is commendable, but when it's used as a PR stunt to distract from your latest scandal, well, that's just low. And let's not forget about their little pet project, The Welcome Project. A noble endeavor, no doubt, but forgive me if I'm not buying into the narrative of the benevolent Duchess swooping in to save the day. It's all too convenient, isn't it? But hey, who am I to rain on their parade? After all, they're committed to their mission. Show up, do good, or so they claim. But forgive me if I take that with a grain of salt, because when it comes to Harry and Meghan, it seems like the only mission they're truly committed to is staying in the headlines. So what's the moral of this sordid tale? Well, it's simple, really. You can take the royals out of the palace, but you can't take the drama out of the royals. And as for King Charles, well, let's just say he's not about to let them get away with their latest stunt without a fight. So buckle up, folks, because it looks like the Royal Rumble is far from over. And as for Harry and Meghan, well, let's just say they might want to think twice before they try to pull the wool over King Charles' eyes again. Because when it comes to protecting the integrity of the monarchy, he's not afraid to lay down the law. And there you have it, folks. The saga of Harry and Meghan continues, with more twists and turns than a daytime soap opera. So stay tuned, because you never know what scandalous plot they'll cook up next. But one thing's for sure, wherever there's drama, you can bet the royals won't be far behind. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.